All right, so we just pulled up to Laramie, Wyoming, and we came to Wyotech. Uh, back in 2013, I graduated from Wyotech. I went to the Sacramento campus and the Blairsville, Pennsylvania campus, but I figured if we're literally driving right past, let me come check this place out, uh, get a cool picture in front of the sign. It really is, uh, for me, it kicked off a lot. Um, I learned tons of stuff and uh, I met great people and uh, it really helped me. So I figured, come by, check it out, and I actually am uh, gonna take a tour. So hopefully they'll let me bring the camera along. I'm sure they will. Uh, so I'll show you guys a tour in a minute. So Ron and Caleb are gonna give us a tour of this campus and uh, there's some great guys. They'll introduce themselves real quick. Hello, I'm Caleb here at Wyotech. Yeah, and I'm Ron. How we doing? <laughs> Give them a tour. Yeah. So we might go through it. I might slow down. I'm not sure. But you guys follow along. So let's go. All right. Come on in. So this building is going to be broken up into three main cores. You got your automotive. You got your collision. You also, this whole side of the shop is going to be diesel. So it's very popular. Very, um very big there's over 200,000 square foot of just shop for the students to really go after this so let's go ahead and we'll go over to the automotive and we'll get started here's your so this is the six month auto core there's more shop in the back this is just going to be your first two phases this is chassis fabrication and transmissions and so Chassis fabrication, that's your bread and butter in the shop. That's like everything that has to do with like doing uh, tires, whether it be brake blades, they got the compu computer alignments. Um, we got the both new and old equipment because you don't know what you're going to be getting in the shop. So let's keep going. Let's go. Pretty cool C10 sitting right over there. I know we're a Ford channel, but uh, got to appreciate it. Yeah, so that, that belongs to Guy Warpness. He used to be the, what, the par vice president, president, and then now he's a representative over in uh, Nebraska. So nice. That's his truck. You should come and see it. It's pretty neat. So do you guys still have the, the Ford that was at SEMA? Oh, it, yes. I think so. Uh, I, yeah, I, I know got it. No one, that with Jesse Combs? No, the was shop top. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't no, so she on that? I think she was on that. I will, we built it in class. Is that right? Yeah, so it was when I was in Blairsville, we did like all of it, we painted it. The tan converter. Yeah. yeah, she's here. That car's here, right? Heck yeah. That's a bag there. That's all right. That's pretty cool. The only thing he said he could redo on this truck is the white color, because now he can't drive it in Nebraska. As you're going down Nebraska's highways, you get the uh, the pinstripe, the bug pinstripe, you know, hits the front and goes all the, way. all the way. He says, no matter where he goes, he just gets a, a grasshopper that goes all the entire way. Oh, so man. he also said the back glass is still something he wants to get done. Okay. He wants to have the back glass actually roll down. Nice. That would so, be cool. Like the new Toyotas and stuff. Yep. yep. Yeah. So everything's been done on it. Let's see what see. you think so far. I think this is the place to be. This is the place to be, ain't it? You yeah. see nothing yet. We'll give you your five dollars afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it's just, even if you don't ever plan on working on cars, just come to school here and build something cool. Yeah, uh, I yeah, like you too. Look at that project. This yeah. Project. So this was done in chassis fabrication. Yeah. This is kind of what's cool about Wyotech is they really like the idea of the students bringing in their work. We know what you guys are thinking about. Like when you guys are going to class, why not just do your own work while you're doing it? Why not get it passed as part of your class work, right? So that's why we, we bring this stuff in. Looks like he's doing a little bit of work. He thought this was another three inches higher and it was just way too high. He was just like, this is just too high for the rock roll. So he lowered it and he got so, uh, in chassis fabrication, he got done with it so fast that he's like, well, why not just do work on the entire thing? So he redid the back and it looks like he's getting some lighting on top, which is cool too. But so like, like you see all of the all of this, uh, some of this stuff, that's all redone. Heck yeah. And so he had a lot more time than he thought. And looks like he's now doing some engine work. 
Yeah, that was the opposite. The project that I started when I was in Chassis Fab, I got like halfway done, and then I graduated, so I had to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah, and that that is too. It depends on what you're I doing. I just bit off way more than I could chew. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Well, and that's so that's one of the things that you know. Those are the three requirements. First of all, and foremost, it has to be approved by your instructor, as you know. Um, and then it ha you have to have your grades attendance up because we don't want you failing the class because you're bringing in your awesome truck, right? And then thirdly, um, it has to be passed by your instructor. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned it twice because it's that important. He knows what's coming in, what's going to help, what's going to harm you. So your instructor's your the best person. So this is the transmission site. So you're going to start with a fully built automatic transmission, tear it all the way down. They'll go over the clutches, they'll go over manual transmission still. I know you don't find them that much in the industry, but we're all hoping that they get back to it. <laughs> um, the industry though, they come in, they, they come in and they say, hey, um, this needs change, this needs change. So like all throughout this course, you're not going to hear me say in the core that we're actually going to be taking apart engines down to the you know nuts and bolts and pieces because they don't do that anymore. The industry has told us, you know, let's keep up with the times. You're going to get that engine replaced. And so that, that's something that's not going to be in here, but it would be found in high performance powertrains. And here you're still taking part transmissions because sometimes you'll get that. But even, even nowadays there's push for maybe not even doing transmissions. Let's not give them that idea, it's so fun. So there's a transmission dyno, and any of the dynos in here that we're working on, we have the students learn on them. That's what the belief, the belief of the instructors are, is they need to work these, they need to know how to work them. If they get hired for like a performance shot or anything like that, they have to know how to use a dyno. So, pretty cool, they get to learn all the, how to hook it up, and after they're done bringing in their transmission, then we get into live work. And again, I've asked the instructors and they said they love to see the students bring in their own live work because there's only so many times you can actually take a transmission and drop it before there's actually wear and tear on that transmission. So we would rather them do it on something like live work that's actually uh, world industry-like than, than uh, just keep replacing the same biotech transmission. So. Again, dyno work. This is like emissions dyno. Um, when you're when you're testing the emissions and stuff, the pull, students will learn how to do all that. You start out. I mean, you start out with engines like what you're seeing here. They're gonna throw faulty sensors. Everything turns on. Everything goes. You just plug it into the exhaust system, and you're ready to go. Ready to start diagnosing. The main component of the the first course here is electric electricity and on any of the courses we start students out on basics and so it doesn't matter if you've you've turned wrenches since you were six to you know you maybe were in the military and you know that they, they, they just kind of replace parts we're gonna go into this thing you're gonna learn the basics of electricity basics of diagnosing and you're gonna get in-depth uh, training on actual industry type engines that we're seeing here so um, Th the, the instructors have a fun time throwing in bad sensors, bad parts, but really you got to get good at your multimeter because you can test around and really feel the engine on what's going on and give an accurate diagnosis. So that's what we're after. We don't want to just make a bunch of parts changers. You owning your business someday, you don't want to be the parts changer who just throws a bunch of um, parts at a, a vehicle and hopefully it fixes it. No, you want a diagnosis that's accurate, that's right the first time. So that's what we're after during these first two phases here. So again, just like any of the WyoTech courses, we start everyone off on their basics. So basics of you know collision fundamentals. When a vehicle comes in, what's the first thing you do? You know, from taking your your readings off the dash, computers, and everything to damage assessment, frame rack. We're going to be going over pulling pulling frames. You can pull them within a. Well, the instructors know. I don't know the exact amount, but industry standard requires that it be within point point zero six or something like that of an inch and so you got to pull, pull it all the way to that point um, as well as getting all of the dents pulled out and uh, filling and you're really getting it in just like over in uh, the automotive side you have parts changers that just throw parts on an engine and hopefully it fixes the thing in the auto body world you have uh, 
paint fillers where they don't, they just slap on the filler and hopefully it sticks. And um, we, we pull the dents out within a tenth of an inch for the students to learn really how to be professional and how to work it. Then collision two, that's where you're getting into a lot of uh, welding. You're getting mostly in uh, MIG weld, as take weld fries computers from what I understand. And you're gonna work, learn to work on your welding. Also learn into sectioning. So taking a front end off of one car and piecing it for another one. A lot of people do that, so you gotta learn that industry portion. And then a lot of a lot more work in like window replacements and how to paint. How to well they're they're kinda doing more of the body work in the collision oh, one okay. and collision two. Then, and then after that they're gonna move over into refinishing. And that's where they are right now. Okay. So um, they're learning proper masking techniques. I mean You'll hear this, everybody who's ever painted anything, preparation is key. Oh yeah, so, that's 90% of it. Almost not, yeah, Laying exactly. the paint down is the easy part. Yep. <laughs> Just walk in the booth and spray. Yep. But getting everything prepared, getting everything ready to go, that's really what takes the time and that's what takes the, the tape of getting everything perfect. All right, so after the uh, refinishing, they're gonna take that car that they got all ready to go. Um, every student will complete one entire paint job while they're here with a tool partner. Mm -hmm. So both people will do that. We got um, booths here. I think there's three main booths um, that people weren't learn on. All the air is fresh air. It pulls in from outside um, right into the masks. And so um, pretty, pretty neat how they do that. I'm going to try to see if I can find like some old photos or videos of uh, when I was in WiveTech. I might include into the vi into this and then I don't know if I'm going to put my, I was on the WiveTech commercial, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in because everybody keeps making fun of me for it, but it might be funny to put in. So I'll, I'll see. You'll find out on the video. I looked into all the other schools. Most of them focus on crash your car, fix the dent, or blow your motor, repair it. I was very interested in the specialty programs that WyoTech offered, and that's really what sold it for me. The instructors have years of knowledge right at your disposal at any minute. I graduated, now I own my own shop. WyoTech provides hands-on training in fields like automotive, diesel, collision, motorcycle, and marine, plus over a dozen specialty programs. I'm Solomon, and I turn pro at WyoTech. Enroll now. Call 1-866-825-4841 today. <laughs> Simi, that's what a real paint mixing room looks like. This is like the dream because you literally just you type it on the computer and it just tells you everything. If you want to make any color, you just make the color. You can't get better than that. No. I've, I've yet to be to a shop that has something as nice as Biotech does. That's the only letdown is you leave here with learning with the coolest stuff and then you go to like a regular shop that can't afford it, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what to hope for though. Oh yeah. You know what you're striving for. High aspirations. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there are shops. I've just not been to them. <laughs> they have to be. Heck yeah. yeah. I mean, that's Painting is the the next area, so you're gonna get a wonderful just. Well, we'll go over it in a slide. Okay. You're gonna get a, that wonderful paint job done with your tool partner. You're gonna go out to lunch. You know, it's gonna look beautiful and stuff. And then you come back from lunch, and the instructors have taken their key, and they've keyed the entire thing. Maybe put a couple dents in it. Now you're gonna learn the next step: repairing, doing blending. You don't want to be the guy, that auto body guy who just takes one panel off and just paints that panel and puts it on there. Oh, it looks good enough, right? When you actually know what to look for, it is an eyesore when you see that, that one panel paint coming down the road. You got to learn how to blend it right in. So it's a lot of paint where the dent was, a lot of paint, a lot of paint, less paint, less paint, less paint, less paint, no paint, no paint, right? Yep. It's blending it in across multi panels. Heck yeah. Yep. So. We talked about all the hands-on. We have to make sure we cover this. This is, we're, we're getting people lots of certifications in ICAR and our WyoTech diploma. You have to prove what you did and a lot of that's classroom time. So, yes, shop time is where you're gonna learn the most and that's why it's the majority of this program is gonna be shop time. It ends up being a little bit more than 60%. Most of the cores are about 60% in the shop, 40% classroom, okay? This, this one ends up being a little bit more because you gotta learn painting, all the collision, removing the glass, all that stuff. That is 
that is all very much hands-on. You, you have to learn that. But this is a big part, part of it. So students will have lecture, didactic learning, something that you're seeing in a lot of trade schools and technical schools, and I will not name names, okay? Don't want to tear down other schools. But they are switching, a lot of them are switching to virtual instructors. So they have a pre-recorded instructor up there. You listen in the morning um, to the instructor, and then you come in just for a few hours and do some work. So how do you ask questions? Exactly. Where is the question asking? And that's where you have to write down your answers, maybe email the instructor. No, 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 no. This is, the, even our classroom time here at Wild Tech, we've really nailed down, this is going to be hands-on as well, okay? Mm -hmm. This is going to be the instructor in front of the class teaching the students. Two students can get a relationship with their, with their instructor, right? Ask questions. 15 um, to 1 ratio. Mm -hmm. We try to keep it 15 to 1. If it gets up to 20 to 1, just know we're probably looking for an instructor. Okay, because we really want to keep it to that 15, 18 to 1 type, type ratio. And here, obviously, you could get a lot more people in here for one instructor, but shop time, you definitely have to have. I think when I was in class, we had like 45 students, we had three instructors. That's yep. right, so you kept yep. with the 15 to 1. Each yeah. person has their own space. Well, yes. now, so that they mm -hmm. can, like, breathe. usually it would be like two people. Yes, That's and this, cool. is, this is kind of Wyotech's response to all these students. When, when you talk about the virus and you're like, oh yeah, let's just close it all down. You got all these students who are, who are waiting for their careers, waiting for the industry, waiting to get in, you can't just close them down. They're, they're waiting for their diploma to get out there and do their essential work. You can't do that. So that's what Wyotech's response is. We put six feet between every student so we can actually do this. And so everybody, for the first 14 days that they were here, everybody wore masks. Everybody, you know, social distance. They didn't get jobs in town to respect the Laramie and everything. And now we're done with that. And everybody's doing great. Everybody's working really good. And and learning, learning lots and finishing their program. Awesome. That's what, that's what this is about. It's all about the students. So this, just like any of the phases, this is going to be broken up into four main six-week phases. Okay, so this is engine management systems, refrigeration, like what you're seeing here, as well as emissions. Okay, so you got the students learning manufacturer way of, you know, repairing all of the engines. Um, we want the students to know exactly which which pieces to do first. You don't want to be halfway through an engine, tor torn apart of an engine, right? And find out that it was something on top, right? So the manufacturers have had these engines for a very long time and they know what goes out first. And so they want you to do it a certain way. And so what we teach is the manufacturer's way of doing all these engines. And so you'll see some schools are just doing, you know, CAT or just doing Cummins or just doing, you know, they specialize their students in a certain way. What we believe is you should know everything that you come across okay it's not just whoever's sponsoring you right exactly <laughs> you know and then you always got the young people's favorites that's good yeah that's what i know right there that is what you know right there is no i know about a 12 now <laughs> um the students will also learn natural gas propane um just because you do, you're we're kind of selfish in this way. You have Wyotech brand, you'll see brand savvy everywhere from his hat to my shirt. Everybody here loves the Wyotech brand. We're all very brand savvy, okay? So we don't want a student coming in, you know, a, a vehicle coming into the shop and a student going, huh? So that's why we give them uh, propane and natural gas as well in the engines portion. We don't want them going, oh, what, what did they do There's this a lot engine, of right? that use that. Yeah. Exactly, and a lot of buses are yeah. in the big cities are doing that because yeah. no tax. Yeah. And right now, if you understand natural gas over diesel, then you just made a four man yeah. strip up yeah. for a diesel, and you can up your horsepower like nothing else. So, so nitrous oxide. We'll sit in on that class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be your core. We're going to take just a really quick break from the core. So we would have gone over uh, engine management system, refrigeration, emissions. This is engines portion where you're learning, and you tear these things down. Like when a student comes in, they, they tear these things down all the way to the crankcase, okay? They go all the way out, it's a huge mess, but it's really worth it because you get to see, you get to see Caterpillars, Cummins, Detroit's being torn down all the way. You're, you know, you get to pick one of the make, 
and your neighbor's doing another make. So you get to see, oh, that's interesting. That's where that piece is over there. That This is where this piece is. And so it's really cool. And then they build them back up. And then you move on to the next section, which is, you know, doing engine adjustments and overheads. So retuning the engines, getting them back. I mean, that's a huge portion in this industry. So that's the engines course. I, then we got the hydraulics and electrical. We'll get to that here in a second. And the drivetrains, okay? But we're gonna take a break off this because this right here, this whole shop portion here, this is advanced diesel, okay? And I don't know if they're in class or not, but this is about 95% hands-on. So this is real live work experience. They're having um, vehicles who are coming in here, big problems with them. Um, last phase, they had a, um, a guy who ignored, oh, that, that yellow truck right over there. The driver for that yellow truck over there, he ignored every warning sign on his truck um, that everything was going wrong coming down the hill. And, uh, and it, it blew a hole in the side of that engine like the size of your fist, okay? And so they, got, they acquired that, the students replaced the engine in it. Now they're doing different types of work. You don't know exactly what you're going to be getting in advanced diesel, but uh, you're going to go from headlights to back tail lights and fix everything wrong with engine from transmission drops to he heavy on emissions, heavy on electric electricity, because those are the two main things that you're going to get in a diesel shop. Okay. I think the main thing about this course, ind industry and employers love this because you're getting real live work work experience for three months before you actually get hired out there in the industry yep so. That's awesome. all right so now we're in my favorite part the core program to me it's like you got to get through that just so you can come here like if they would just let you come here nobody would ever go there so now you're going to find out why all right this is uh all the courses they offer the fun courses <laughs> Career services, you got your board there. This is what it's all about, though, right? I mean, learning this stuff is good, but you got to have employment afterwards. Yeah. So you can actually click on that when it's on, <laughs> <laughs> and and you can actually pull up different areas, and we have all the jobs posted on there regularly. There's a book back there of like 450 call-ins alone of employers, and those employers are after one to five people each, and so just call-ins alone, we have to get rid of those three months. Every three months you have to re redo it, so it's pretty crazy. So this houses all, all your specialties. You got chassis fabrication, you got high performance powertrains, you got uh, the business course, ASM course over there, you got trim and upholstery, and then street rod. That's what's gonna be in this building. So we'll start over here. And it's kind of our luck since we didn't grab glasses and stuff, but they're not in class because they wouldn't let us walk through here without glasses. Right now they're in classroom, but really what chassis fabrication is about is exactly what you're seeing here. Roll cages, lift kit, um, like if that's what's something you're interested in. Uh, engine mounting, custom suspension. It, Going very, fast. yeah, MIG and TIG, very heavy on MIG and TIG. The guy here would not tell you this. Big, because he's very, he's oh. very good. It was, but that space telescope, the Hubble, the Hubble space telescope. He's got welds on some of the windows of that thing. Okay, so very knowledgeable guy, very good guy to learn from. Um, he tests his stuff. He tells the story of the students. He, they didn't have projects. The first thing he asks here is what what your project vehicle is going to be, because they really like um, students doing work on their their type of stuff. Right now they're in learning geometry you got big big uh, assignments there's over 13 welding competencies in here alone and that's what's cool about all this type of stuff so okay. lots of different projects here's the student's work here putting roll cage. cage in the student bought the vehicle to do some work on and is like you know what if somebody else wants to do work on it i'll just leave it here and someday it'll get fixed so they're doing work on little by little they do work on things nice. we'll see some finished projects here in a little bit cnc they learn basic cad oh i didn't do that when i was here very basic cad so it's just 
allowing you to cut out like what you're seeing over here for your viewers. I, I don't know anything about cash. That would have been so cool to learn. So anything from like what you're seeing here? The next Wyotech logo. The Wyotech logo? Yeah. Yep. Badass. Yeah, really cool. Uh, machining 101, roll cages, anyone who says that they're really into the performance, but more on the, more on the, uh, the welding side, the getting that power to the ground, right? You can invent all the power, which is what high performance is, but getting that power to the ground, that's what this is all about, being the suspension, the four links, all of that type of stuff is gonna, gonna be done in here. Really great, lots of fun things. They, they had this whole thing filled with uh, student vehicles this last phase. It's also fun stuff. So a lot right? of the times they'll let you, they'll teach you about like airbag suspension, all the different geometries, the designs, how to make your own front and rear suspension. And uh, I mean, I learned all of that shock tuning. I mean, basically having fun. Oh, this is a cool go kart. Yep. So here's your high performance. This is another advanced diesel and high performance. Those are probably the most, and chassis fabrication are the most popular specialty programs. This, this is where you're learning how to you know, completely tear down an engine. Um, it's divided up into two phases, mechanical and electrical side, but pretty much every everyone in here, every time I come in here, everybody's got smiles going on. They just love listening to all these engines roar. They got dynos to do that. They got the all-wheel drive dyno, the in-floor dyno, they got an engine dyno over there, we'll go walk in. Um, but really this is what it's all about, you know, getting the mechanical, um, the mechanical as well as the electronic. I didn't know that. Yeah, so this remember. is the engine dyno room. This is where they're gonna wheel an engine in. They're gonna test the thing, um, test it, view it in all the electrical, making, getting the most performance out of the engine. And then they're gonna, all the students will do work on the dyno. You're gonna learn how to do all the work on the dynos. We really wanna focus in on that, especially in a performance. You have to prove that you have uh, the ability, and when a vehicle comes in, you turn that vehicle back out, uh, you know, perfect. perfect. Yeah. So, this room gets really loud, and so even with it closed, it's still really loud. So, pretty cool. Right That's way cool. Very neat. Oh. There you go. I haven't seen this thing forever. It sure does. Hell yeah. So I was there that year at SEMA too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, this is a slick. And when I was in school, we did the whole thing. So you get a full chop top on it. And one of the coolest things I remember my instructor thought was uh, being this part of the hood over here. Usually the emblem would go right there. So that was like his favorite part of it. And then they put in the earlier grill. I haven't seen this thing in ages. I think the, the front glass is also the back glass, isn't it? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm you not don't sure. think so? Okay. I'm not sure. That is awesome. Alright. Could they do that? This one here, there too? Or? Not when I was there. It looks nice. This one. It almost needs the vacuum cleaner in there with it. Oh, man. <laughs> but <laughs> This is awesome. Yep. Simi, imagine road tripping in this. Oh, boy. Yeah, you awesome. got the ball and all. Uh, yeah. And then, I mean, you got the cool custom lookers and Rockfords in the back. I mean, this thing really rocks it out at a trade yeah. show. That's awesome. So, yeah. That and they kept going with that carpet. You know, they just got that Shag 70s that kept going <laughs> all the way up to the front. And then they kept going into the engine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So this is the business course. So this is going to be your ASM, Applied Service Management. This is really the entrepreneurship class of WyoTech. And this is where students are going to be learning everything from um, buy, you know, buying a business to owning and operating a business, managing one, doing service writing. This is more like the white collar stuff in a shop, right? But you need, you need to know that if you're going to be uh, running a business. Do you and get so, anything out of it at the end? Associates? Yes, you do. You do get an associate's in, in as little as three months. You'll get an associate's to add with your six month core. So you can take this course and it just really is a really great course to teach you everything about owning a business. And they also, 
this one tends to be a lot more classroom time because you got computers you're learning, accounting, marketing, creating business plans, um, maybe even you know creating your commercials and stuff. They'll do that. They'll do it with like drones going around the shop making commercials for their business, doing social media, that type of stuff. But they also get out here. We'll actually do um, live work where uh, staff and student work can come in here and they're actually doing they accept the vehicle they do the work on the vehicle and then they put the vehicle out so there is also some hands-on in here it tends to be a lot less because it's a business course okay and we have so much to get through this is a lost art out there in in the industry it's hard to find a good trim and upholsterer um this is this is where you're going to learn they start out in here we got mac mcdonald he, he's appeared on detroit diesel a couple times and he's going to teach them first of all how to sew a straight line that's the first thing you're going to learn then you're going to learn the different types of seams really by the first six weeks you're going to have a really good understanding of how to create a bucket seat from the bottom up completely redo a bucket seat with all the seams and everything that you're seeing there then what we're going to do after that we're going to teach you you know convertible tops doing uh different different like uh, boat work we're going to be doing a lot of different things going to come broaden broaden the horizons there we want to specialize it and kind of cater it to the student and so student work this is where that's going to come in you can bring your own vehicle in buy the materials really learn how to completely redo that that vehicle um, from a professional while you're here most students when they come out of here they might have even went there i'm thinking of one guy he came through automotive he was very much a gearhead came through automotive, went over and did high performance powertrains. That was his dream is to open a high performance shop. He's gonna be here a year because he's in private housing for a year instead of campus. And he decided, hey, I might as well just throw on another specialty. I'll put trim and upholstery on there. He loved it so much. He's now running a course, a, a, a shop over in uh, Texas, redoing uh, vehicles. People ship them from the East Coast, the West Coast, everything to his shop there. I mean, you look up the prices for doing a pulser. It's it's really good if you know what you're doing. Heck yeah. So, got a lot of uh, lot of sewing machines in there. To learn from. And then the last specialty here. Last but not least, this one favorite. is one of the. If 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 someone were to ever tell us that they're really into auto restoration or you know redoing cars this is the course for them this is the street rod course this is where you're learning how to fix bodies you're also learning how to build panels uh, let's go into this room here for a second custom paint custom paint all yep. types of sheet metal tape welding and all the really fun stuff how to make bucks how to yeah i love this course. it's all Lots of tools, lots, lots of stuff to go around. There's lots of different uh, fun projects. You learn all of the different types of machining, uh, cutting. So again, this is sheet metal, like what you're seeing here. Learning MIG and TIG on it, brazen. So, really cool. This is the type of work you'll learn how to do here, from the flag and the, whatever that is, the river over there, to uh, custom airbrushing. You also learn you know, chameleons, you know, pearl essence. I'll show you the mailbox I remember, right? So that's one of the things, I don't know if they still do that, but when I was here, you had to like make a mailbox mm -hmm. and custom paint and everything. Yep. Now they do a fender. They do a, they fender. Do a fender, I think so. So I, had a, I have two doors that I had to make and a mailbox. Yeah. I think they first start with... But we got a whole custom paint shop here. Looks like some some work's already being done. Don't really want to walk in there, as you know, because we oh, don't want to stir up dust mask. and face mask. Yep. This is some work that they they've been working on. Little by little, they keep getting things done on it. This was actually sitting over in high performance powertrains with the racing engine and everything in it. Um, the street rod people walked by and said, "Oh my gosh!" It used to be this blue color. Look down there. So that, it used to be that ugly blue and everything was that way. 
They've redone everything, they've, they've worked on it. This is a really unique car because they learned how to do fiberglass repair, which is something you learn in here. You also learn how to do the repair on steel, repair on all the sheet metal, which it's got a lot of that on it. So oh, yeah. this is a fun project that they're doing. World War II, um, they have, World War II, they have um, these uh, drop tanks. Uh, they, they grew out of them. And so after they'd make salt flat racers, that's what we're doing. We took a fiberglass one. We made the bucks, which are, they put them away somewhere. They're oh, right they're there. over there. The bucks are over there. They made the bucks, they pounded the metal. This is going to be the thing that they put wheels on and make it look cute to put up in the ceiling, right? The other thing that has plans to actually, it's an exact replica of this. And from what I understand, the instructors have very big plans to put engine and everything in that to actually make it run. And they want to do one step further and do a carbon fiber one also. And they want to do a carbon fiber one too. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh, the lights are right here. So this is the real room. We learn how to do some sheet metal work. What goes into the panel like this? No, it's already it's set. It's already set up next uh, this winter. Um, putting a white daddy kit on the back end. And All right, that's that's your tour. So cool. that's pretty well, much what we got. Except know where they can. If anybody's watching this wants any more information, where should they go? Oh yeah, go up to the website, check out all the programs. It's a really sweet website. We've really uh, catered it to the younger generation. Really just looking at everything. You can just scroll down, click exactly what you want. Everything's located up there. And also, throw you know, you can throw your, um, your name in there. And someone like myself will reach out to you. We always do it um, through phone calls, texts, try to meet you where you're at. But we try to... Um, try to get a hold of students that way. So and yeah, that's feel free to, and that's at wiotech.edu. There you go. I hope you can, I could redo that if you want. <laughs> that was kind of brutal. So that's like a literally a full, full tour of the Laramie, Wyoming campus. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other campuses still. When I was around, there was a bunch. This was it. And this this is, is it. Only gonna be it. That's it. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we're going to get back to doing road tripping stuff.